CBiz, a company focused on delivering top-level financial services, has found a niche in helping small businesses in reaching their financial goals. So we have with us Jerry Grisco, President and CEO at CBiz. Thank you so much. Um, really providing something unique and different. Tell us about um, how your company is working and helping a lot of the other businesses too. Well, good to be here today, Nicole. Thanks for hosting us. Um, so CBiz provides uh, insurance, accounting, and other advisory services, as you mentioned, to not only small businesses, but middle market businesses. Uh, our niche in the business is that we f find that segment to be largely underserved. Um, the big four, of course, and others do a really good job with uh, Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 type clients. But that segment of the, the market, small middle market businesses, um, usually has monoline service pr providers, uh, traditional accounting firms and traditional insurance brokerage agencies. Uh, we fill that void by providing a broader array of services and deeper subject matter expertise, really focused on that niche uh, uh, in the market. Understood. And so at this point, with the company at a new high, um, hit 74.85, and so came out, um, this is going to be right. We've seen a record high close just recently as well. Tell me about what has been driving this. You had a double beat and the outlook. Yeah, I think it's just really sustained strong performance. We have uh, we've we've really been very on a on a very strong ride here for the past several years, um, 21, 22, and again this year 23, beating our uh, revenue targets, beating our earnings targets, and and the stock has just reacted to it. Uh, we do uh, we're we're very intentional about getting out and telling our story. Uh, we're not monoline, um, uh, so many of our competitors are in one of the industries we're in, but not in the breadth of industries. So it really takes us going out and, and telling that story. And when we do, um, we see the stock react to it. Right, understood. What are some of the pressures as, you know, the loss widened, you gave revenues on the rise, you gave your guidance. What have been some of the headwinds that the company has been facing? And does that change in 2024 and 2025 for you? Uh, I think actually 2024, as we sit here today compared to last year, I think it actually we're a little bit more optimistic about what we're facing into the future. The types of headwinds that we might face that would impact the business are uh, really just a slower business climate. We largely serve, as I indicated, uh, middle market businesses, um, largely reliant on the optimism of, the, of those business owners uh, and whether they're investing forward. Um, the advantage to CBiz is we provide largely essential services. So if you think about accounting, insurance, payroll, um, our clients need those services kind of regardless of business climate. But about 25% of our revenue tends to be more project-oriented, advisory. And we do better, obviously, in a more favorable business client where, uh, climate where our clients are growing, expanding, investing, and they're turning to us to help them navigate um, those decisions. Right, and you've been seeing growth across a, a lot of these service lines that you provide. Um, you know, as you said, if there's a business slowdown overall, that would be something that would be of a headwind to CBiz. Are you expecting for the economy to sort of stay steady, no recession? Uh, well, we've been calling for a, a, a recession on the horizon for some time, as everyone has, and and, and really it hasn't. Uh, we really haven't seen it materialize. Certainly, as it relates to the the segment of the market that we serve. Again, that business owner, uh, small middle market business owner, tends to be uh, an optimistic group uh, and a resilient group. And so, even when the economy slows down in some areas, uh, segments of the economy, our our clients tend to tend to kind of be able to to weather those storms. And um, we're not geographically concentrated, we're not industry concentrated. So that diversity also helps us navigate uh, in, in different business yeah. climates. Right, tell me about the Main Street Index, um, why this is important and what we're learning here. So, you know, we really find, again, that's, a, that's an underserved uh, segment of the market. We don't get a, a very good pulse or the market doesn't oftentimes take a pulse of, of what that business owner is, is seeing. And so we, with over 100,000 clients, uh, 70,000 uh, business clients, have a unique ability to reach into that client base and really take a, get our finger on the pulse of, of, of how they're seeing things and, and their sense of of confidence in the in the uh, business environment, and so we've we survey them on a regular basis, and we publish that through our Main Street Index. Yeah, understood. And in the world of mergers and acquisitions, we've been seeing um, M and A activity picking up. Usually, this is during a good environment for businesses that you see 
right, that they are trying to maneuver, and we see more of that during good times than we do um, during tough times. Tell me a little bit about mergers and acquisitions in your forecast for 2024. Well, um, so as it relates to CBIS internally, we're uh, always acquiring as well. Uh, we think scale matters. Uh, we, we bring smaller organizations into ours and then provide them with the benefits of, of all the investments that we're making to help them accelerate growth, provide greater opportunities for their, for their workforce. So we have, am, and will continue to be very active acquirers. As, it look, as we turn to the external market, what we saw last year, and we do a considerable amount of work helping private equity firms and others um, on the quality of earnings and, and, and other matters relating to their acquisition, we did see that work slow in the first half, but then pick up in the second half. And so as, as interest rates start to stabilize, we think that that, um, that will continue. So we think that deal activity should continue um, to grow into 2024 compared to certainly the first half of 2023. Right, right. As you as you see rates, or at least we're at the peak, maybe according to the Fed uh, minutes yesterday, because um, rising interest rates, labor concerns, global unrest were things that your clients and you were talking about in 2023. Um, are these still some issues for 2024? Maybe less so, but still. Yeah, less so, as you indicated. Uh, interest rates seem to have stabilized. Um, labor shortages have eased. Supply chain issues have eased. Um, the one issue that we are hearing today, and we started to hear kind of in the third quarter of 23, and it continues, is really access to credit. So um, I think credit markets are tightening somewhat. That does have uh, an impact on the confidence levels of the business owners. We'll kind of see how that plays out into 2024. Right, understood. Jerry Grisco, thank you so much, President and CEO at CBiz. Great to see you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Nicole. It's great to see you.